hello guys uh, welcome to tech design uh, hope everyone is doing good and enjoying all my tutorials so in this session i'm going to discuss on uh, uh, path types in electrical routing so in the last session we have discussed on clip project so if you have not checked please go to my playlist and uh, check all the videos on electrical routing so in this tutorial we will discuss on path types so there are two path type in um, uh, electrical routing one is a linear path and another one is a spline path so uh, maybe you could have noticed that uh, this is similar to one of the you know line and arcs so we need to draw uh, lines here so this will be used for you know uh, giving a stock and uh, uh, making an electrical routing so this will also have a corner here so if you want to give uh, you know um, the corner for this one so you can just assign the corner so once you assign the corner it will have an uh, arc here so this is a combination of you know uh, lines and arcs so this will be a linear path and one more we have is a spline path so as you can see here this is a spline where you need to input a, you know um, points so once you input a point you will have a spline here so spline is uh, also an uh, you know um, combination of line and arc uh, but this will be a non parametric one and uh, you can see once the spline path is comes uh, you can see the minimum radius the this at this point we have a minimum radius of uh, 64.69 and overall length of the spline line will be 228 so this will be shown uh, by switching it on and off so you can just uh, uh, toggle it over here uh, to um, show it and hide it so these are the two different uh, you know spline paths so uh, the only thing is here uh, whatever the spline path will be there this will be completely used for electrical routing so for example if you go in in practical so whatever the cables we have uh, in our uh, uh, routing for ex in an automotive industry or medical industry or any other industry whatever the cables we have for example hdmi cable which we use for uh, uh, you know desktop so all those cables will be you know uh, splines so you can see that they it will not be straight and uh, uh, there won't be like a corner similar to like this so we always have that in a spline uh, uh, manner so always uh, when we are doing working on electrical routing we use this uh, spline path uh, whereas in uh, mechanical routing say for example um, in uh, cars and all if you, there is an exhaust system uh, so exhaust system should be you know uh, it will not be a spline because it will be made up of uh, uh, some stainless steel or uh, with uh, some aluminium coating so in that kind what happens is uh, we cannot use this um, you know spline path so in that case we have to use uh, whatever the linear path we have here so this is this also comes in our uh, mechanical routing as well so we will discuss that mechanical routing later later so uh, th these are the two different kinds of you know um, uh, routing paths so mostly 99% uh, in electrical routing we use spline path so we'll discuss more on spline path and uh, how we can you know uh, use the spline path during electrical routing so now as i already told you uh, spline path is very important when we are working on electrical routing so what i will do is i will just take up a spline path as a command for today so i'll just explain how that works and how we can use a, a spline path during an electrical routing so here is the command as you can see here uh, spline path and we have a multiple options over here uh, we have you know uh, spline shape and uh, stock and some settings we have here so we'll discuss each and everything uh, one by one how that works so when you are working on a spline path you need to input a points so you can see there is a one point another point and another point you see here so you can just enter the points the way uh, the way you wish and you need to connect from uh, one connector to another connector so it will have a smile spline here so you can also see number of uh, points over here you can see the these points so if you want to edit any point you can just you know uh, highlight that point and you can just uh, move it uh, either forward or backward and whatever the direction you want so this will move the entire spline as well so this is how we can just you know enter n number of points here so whenever you enter the points uh, that will be recorded under this uh, list so uh, whenever it is required you can just come come out to this uh, window and you can just edit it and next we have is a spline shape as you can see here we have multiple shapes here so lock length is nothing but so whatever the length of the spline will be there that will be locked as you can see here 510 mm uh, is the length of this uh, you know spline so if you lock it so when uh, the 
length of the spline is locked and if you are moving this so uh, the length will never change so you can see the length is as uh, as always it will be 510 so it will never change uh, it will lock the complete length so if it is none so when it is none and if you try to move it is as you can see here the spline length is changing so that is the main advantage when we have working on in this uh, electrical routing in many cases what customer uh, used to tell you is like you need to have one uh, 200 mm length of the cable so that will be constrained so during that time uh, you can use this lock length and uh, lock the length to 200 mm and then uh, you can do or do whatever the routing you required so in that case uh, this lock length will be used and we'll discuss on slack and then we can come to this uh, lock length slack so slack is nothing but say for example uh, let me keep it as uh, none and let me draw again so i'll just go to spline and okay so for example if you have a cable here so i will just give a slack so as you can see here when a slack is given <coughs> what happens is say for example uh, assume that the one person is holding a cable over here and the other person is holding cable here and when they have uh, you know straight uh, cable which is which is you know stretched during that time even though we have some gravitational power and it will fall down so that can be given in a uh, uh, slack so as you can see here slack along this direction we have a slack so if you give in other direction the cable will fall on the other direction for example if you uh, see this curve so this will be falling on the about the top direction so i will if i reverse it as you can see it will fall on this direction so this will be a you know percentage of uh, you know slack can be given to uh, any of the cable so this is completely require you know uh, depending on the customer requirement so if they want to give any slack for a cable that you have routed so in that case you can give the you know spline length uh, in the percentage of uh, value in the slack uh, or else uh, and also you need to input the direction along which direction you need to have a slack say for example if it is in downward direction you can just give the di downward direction or else you can just uh, give any other direction so if you give this direction as you can see the cable is falling along along that direction so it depends on completely uh, the customer requirement so once the slack is done you can see the lock and lock length and slack so if you want to provide a lock length and then uh, also you know <coughs> slack then you can just use this so mostly these options will not be uh, completely useful um, but uh, all many, many cases we keep it as a none and uh, we will route the uh, cables okay now we have here uh, the list of stocks so how you want to input a stock say for example if you have an uh, uh, well organized uh, you know institute or um, company so you will have a specified stock in the library so you need to specify a stock and go to specify stock here and this will take you to company library uh, where an IT administrator has put uh, all the stocks into this uh, uh, library and you can just pick any any of the you know stock for from uh, this library and you can click ok so as soon as you click ok you will have an uh, stock here as you can see here this is a stock so if the stock is not mentioned you can just go to circular so circular stock and whatever the diameter you want so for example 20 mm so similar to like that you can just mention the you know uh, stock diameter so this will be um, uh, this will have a circular stock so similarly we have multiple options so rectangle so in this case we need to input uh, width and then uh, uh, the height so if I give width and height you will have a rectangular kind and also we have a flat oval flat oval is same as one of the rectangle but you will have corners so as you can see here same uh, input I have given as a 10 and 8 so we will have an um, you know corner like this <coughs> and also uh, we have uh, this uh, you know preferred stock preferred stock and the specified stock is same uh, which will be you know um, uh, taking you to the library to pick up um, you know specified uh, stock so this is all about the stock how we you know input the stock this this is not mandatory you need to provide this stock in the uh, in the spline path uh, command itself we have a separate option as a stock here say for example if you go here you can this you can see the stock so if you have wrote uh, done a routing only using a spline path and if you have not given any um, uh, stock for that so you can directly go here and then you can provide the stock uh, and we have multiple options over here so 
as you can see here uh, lock to selected object if this is switched on uh, whatever the you know routing that is uh, you know given to um, any component so it will lock to the selected object so when your object is moved uh, along with that this plane path will also move so this will uh, you know i will just explain these things in the next session uh, using one of the example uh, for this plane path so that you will understand it in better manner so i hope uh, this will uh, help you a lot uh, so please stay tuned and uh, also i would like to tell you if you want to learn um, electrical routing quickly you can join, just uh, join our online tutorials because uh, this i'm not going i'm unable to upload uh, videos on everyday basis so if you are waiting for a long time uh, if you have a time you can definitely wait for a long time uh, or else you can just uh, check out our online tutorials so uh, please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys